This is my canoe and that is my campsite. So yes, I'm actually sleeping in the canoe out on the water tonight. I don't know how well it will go. I've always just been curious if it's possible. And so I'm going to experiment by doing tonight. So <laughs> let's get out on the water. There's a film crew and our supervisor. I made it to my campsite. I'm here a few hundred feet from shore and uh, came from about a mile, mile and a half. Yeah, probably about a mile back that way. I guess first things first, I need to put the anchor down so that I can uh, stay right here. So let's talk safety. So one, I'm wearing a PFD. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear it tonight or not, but we'll see. I let my wife know where I'm going. Actually, she was out here filming. I let search and rescue know where I'm going since I'm, I'm part of them and they'd probably want to know this anyway if uh, somebody reports some, you know, a drift canoe or whatever. Um, I have these uh, red and green glow sticks to put on the ends so nobody runs into me. And with that, I'm doing this the weekend before fishing opener. So there should be very little to no traffic out here this weekend. My stuff, including my extra warm clothes, are in dry bags. I'm anchored out here and I looked at the weather and so uh, the weather is pretty calm. You know, they're talking like six mile an hour wind and it is going to be cold tonight, but that's a different story. So uh, it's supposed to be actually in the 20s. If you look over this way, it's actually a loon. Another thing I have to think about is the yoke here is actually only about 11 and a half inches um, off the bottom. And so I'm gonna have to take this off for the night so that I can fit in here and so that I'm not trapped if I were for some reason to flip over. Still pretty stable. The other thing about this is that when you're laying down in the canoe, there's a pretty low center of gravity. If I lay here and I'm, I'm purposely off to one side in one corner, right? Okay, that's a little scary, but uh, yeah, I mean, in one corner, I'm not gonna flip over. Very low center of gravity when I'm laying here. So this actually makes me feel pretty comfortable because I'm gonna be trying to be in the middle on my pad anyway. So I don't think it's gonna be flipping. If you wanted to do this and you wanted to make it safer, you could also use some stabilizer floats, little, you know, kind of pontoons that go out. And I, I'll put a link to those in the description if you're interested in checking those out or getting some. It's supposed to be cold tonight, like 28 degrees. So uh, <laughs> I can get a little warmer here. I'm actually a little chilly from sitting around getting set up. Um, just noticing there's a hole in my darn tough sock. If you haven't checked out these socks yet, man, I really highly recommend them. They are guaranteed for life. Who guarantees a sock? But anyway, it's about time to send these back because once you get a hole, you can send them back. <laughs> I'll link them in the description as well. They're awesome. So I'm gonna set my head towards the anchor so that my head will move less in the night as it kind of blows in the wind. I think that'll maybe make me a little less seasick. So I'm gonna start out with a bivy bag and then I have a couple sleeping bags kind of zipped together. They're synthetic and uh, you know, pad and everything. So my sleep system is this foam pad, just cheap thing with a Neo Air on top of it. Amazing, there's these ribs that stick up about an inch on the bottom, all the way down this boat. And uh, based on my experience with this pad, it'll be no problem. I probably won't even feel those ribs. Uh, they're quite comfy, Neo Air. Again, I'll link in the description. I'll also link one of these. This is a bivy sack and uh, it's, it's really nice and waterproof. So if it happened to rain or, you know, if the condensation kind of settles tonight, um, I should be protected in this. And then I just have two synthetic sleeping bags zipped together. And um, yeah, so if you get some splashes or something, again, I should be just fine. <laughs> so I've definitely never experienced anything like this before, laying in the bottom of the canoe and all this cushy camping gear. Feels a little ridiculous. 
But one of my big hopes is that some of you watching this are folks who have been interested in canoeing before but haven't done it because like a lot of people, they think, oh, I'm going to tip over. They're not very stable. And I'm hoping that if I can spend the night sleeping in a canoe, that you can hopefully be inspired to try canoeing in the normal way because it's probably not going to tip over. It's probably a lot more stable than you think. Although I can't recommend sleeping in a canoe because of the inherent risks, I will say that I'm finding there's certainly some benefits to it. There's no need to bear hang because obviously they're not out here. There's no bugs, it's flat. You're never going to find a full campsite and you have some great access to looking at the stars. I've been watching uh, the stars come out and you know the satellites fly over and uh, it's, I'm actually having a pretty good time. So anyway, uh, if you do end up doing this, like I said, consider the uh, stabilization floats and uh, you can make this a lot less uh, nerve wracking initially. So in case you're doubting that I spend the entire night out here in the canoe, I'm going to do a time lapse so that uh, you can verify it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I spent the night out here. Well, I was comfortable and warm last night. It did get cold. You can see there's frost and spots of water on here where it almost looks like I was splashed. And that's because I was, uh, there was a beaver that kept coming by and snacking its tail and waking me up. And then uh, a few times I woke up because I would get splashed on my face where this beaver was literally right next to the canoe. Yeah, that was, uh, that was really the only issue. I, I did wake up once feeling like I was going to flip over. Uh, you know, I just had kind of like rolled to the side and it, you know, did a little tip. But uh, yeah, I mean, I generally felt really stable. Definitely comment and let me know what you think. If you would try it, if you think it would be useful, if there's other concerns you might have. But most of all, really comment if this uh, helps convince you to try canoeing. If you're new to Adventures in Reach, welcome. I post videos that expand what adventures are possible for you, the information to make them happen, and to increase your confidence outdoors. So if you're interested in that, then you can go ahead and subscribe. If you're interested in these water sports, but maybe sailing is more for you, you can check out that playlist. If you're interested in seeing this canoe, being paddled with two people, six dogs, and then those stabilization floats I was talking about. You can check out the video. I hope that you keep watching in the future.